So Chinese chess or xiangqi is a game that's played on a board that's eight squares wide and eight plus one squares high. The extra square is because there's a river that divides your territory from your opponents. So pl uh, pieces are placed on the intersections rather than on the squares themselves. And on the board, at the start, you'll see seven marked positions um, on each side. There are five of them that's going to be on the row immediately before the river. That is where your five pawns go. And then the other two marked positions are for your cannons. <clears throat> on the back rank, you've got, uh, from left to right, you've got the rook, the knight, the bishop, advisor, and general. And this is mirrored on the other side. So you've got advisor, uh, bishop, knight, and rook. And that is how your pieces are placed. So movement, the knight and rook move exactly the same way as they do in Western chess, um, except it's on the points instead of on the squares. The knight cannot jump over a piece, so it does get blocked, and it, that does get a little bit strategical. The bishop cannot cross the river, and it can only move two points diagonally, so there's only a total of seven points where the bishops is allowed to go, really, including their starting positions, I think. Um, the advisor can only move along the diagonal lines within the palace, which is a three by three little box that your <coughs> advisor starts out on the corners of, and your king is on the, your king is right between them. Um, and the, uh, the king or the general can only move one space, uh, one point horizontally or vertically again within the limitations of the palace once the um once the pawn is pushed past the river it can move horizontally but as usual it can't go back and cannons capture by jumping any piece which you can call the cannon stand and capturing an enemy enemy piece